can call us to order for the, our special meeting of the Board of Directors of the Valley Sedos Water District on Tuesday, July 26th. And uh, Director Evans, would you please lead us in the pledge? I'd be happy to. Let it begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Diane, can we have a roll call, please? Yes. Here. Director Evans? Here. Director Hernandez? Yes. Here. Director Here. Here. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adopt the agenda tonight. So moved. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. I don't see any public comment, uh, so we'll move right on to. Uh, Action items 1.1 draft notice of public hearing on proposed rates. Yeah, thank you, John. Good enough. Go over the changes from last uh, hey John, how are you? time you saw. Good. There's a snow. There's a report. <coughs> I only have one change request, but you want to go through the whole. What? Oh. That's real quick. Okay. Um, back on the back on on last Wednesday. <laughs> way, <laughs> way back then? Yeah, way, yeah, it seems <laughs> like it was way back then. We uh, the staff presented a draft notice of public hearing um, and there there was uh, recommendations made by the board for staff to incorporate to refine the uh, the notice back to you that those um, those have uh, those directives have all been incorporated in and I'll show you here on the screen where they are. The first one was to include uh, a statement in, in kind of question and answer format basically um, what is the impact to the average single family residence and right here on the front page Also down below in this little table here, which was uh, the second directive, to include a numeric illustration of that impact. Um, we have this little asterisk down here that's, that defines what a <coughs> single <coughs> residential bill is or assumes, which is a 5 8 centimeter using 12 units of water per month. Um, the table here is the numeric representation. So we have the current bill in total, water commodity ready to serve and uh, wastewater, $109.13 for that single family, uh, single family residential unit. And then what it will be in October and the $5.45 increase and the 5% and then what it will be in July, the 120.31, the increase is 573, uh, the 5%, and then in July 2018. So that's that, that was the second um, directive. And the third one was to reduce from a three-year to a two-year um, rate increases. So whereas the prior one went out to effective date July 1, 2019, this one ends at an effective date of July 1, 2019 and that carries through all of the tables as we go. Um, one other item to note that's different from the other one and will be different on the final is in the sewer monthly service charges, this table here um, will actually be cut in half. From this line down will go away and also this minimum charges for non-residential, all that wording there will go away. Those are um, minimums that are in there and they're already inside of this non-residential flow. If they don't reach the non-residential flow, that's the minimum that's charged. So 
So we, we checked with Jeff, and those are not necessary to be on the TUI. So uh, with that, I'll entertain any, any questions that you have. And um, the staff's recommendation on this is to go ahead and mail the public notice, which we mail it by August 5th. We get it in the mail by August 5th. Our customers have the required amount of days to um, oppose it. And there are directions on page two. I'll go on to that here real quick. Um, how our customers can provide comments or protests. And it, it explains to them how to do that, how to reach us, um, what information we need from them in order for it to be a valid uh, comment or protest. And um, we could hold a public hearing the soonest would be September 1st, 2016, provided it's in the mail by August uh, 5th. Yeah. Mr. Martin. I, I would have, there's no objection to the way of doing it. Two, used to be one, but now that John so eloquently spoke through it, now I have two suggestions. The first one is, instead of when it says current bill, if you put in October of 2015 or July of 2015, whatever it was, the current bill, increase over prior year, zero, percentage, zero, to show that they've gone a year without any increase whatsoever. I think that's important to have it on there. I agree. Just done at first, the, the first one for the average? Where yeah. It says yeah. Current, okay. yeah, just the first one. We can yeah, do July 1, 2015, right. July, boom, so it shows it to the- Right, zero, zero. The same, yeah. yeah. I yep. think that, that tells a better story. And then the next paragraph, and, 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 and by the way, I think this is a wonderful job. Thank you very much. I think it looks a thousand times better and it's more understandable. Uh, the paragraph right under that, why are rate increases necessary? Rate increases necessary to continue to provide safe, reliable, and sustainable water and sewer service. The only thing it doesn't say there is tasty and delicious. Um, those are kind of filler words. I, I would rather see rate increases are necessary skip the rest of the highlighted words there and are required to cover the increased costs, highlight increased costs of wholesale water, electricity costs. Actually highlight the costs, but these are, pass, most of this is passed through, not all of it, it's pass through costs. And I would say to highlight that rather than use a diatribe of adjectives to make it sound like it's something that's not. But that's the only two things that I have. But. Uh, I read through it, and I think the staff did a great job uh, of making this 218 more easily readable for, to our ratepayers and understandable. And they could probably get through the first page without ever having to read the third page. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just, um, just, sure. just, just... Sure, please do. Just so so I've got everything, I'll just let you know. Well, make sure um, it reads Yeah, yeah. so right. on that, on, here we go, just pull it up here. So on this table here, yeah. We would have another column that no, has no. where it says current bill now. Okay. Just change that to whatever date is applicable. July in 1, 2015. That was the last, yeah, that was so the first. July, that was July right. 2015. July 1, so, 2015. So it's consistent with the rest right. of it. So it shows okay. 109 uh -huh. and then increase over prior year zero and percentage increase over prior year zero. Okay. So we so have no Okay. Yeah. 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 So well, actually, then it would be July 1, 2016, if you want to show the zeros down there. Right. Whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever is Unless we squeeze yeah. in another column. That, that's what was I was, appropriate. That's I, what I, was, okay. I think what Hal's going for is make it simple. Mm -hmm. And I think if you put the current bill, but you date it as July 6, 2016, and the increase over the prior year was zero from July 15th to yeah, July 16th. That's, that would work. And that's what's that would important. Be accurate. I think that's what he's not putting all the other in. Okay. Yeah, so have the two zeros in there. And then uh, the other the other comment, if, if I got it right, um, in the paragraph below, rate increases are necessary, and then... And then go straight to and are required to cover the increased cost of wholesale water, and then but make the bold part, the wholesale water, electricity cost increases, Inflationary cost the whole increases. paragraph. Yeah, the whole paragraph. Yeah, the whole paragraph is going to be bold. Yeah, but yeah, just so we just get rid of the the two continue but, to provide safe and reliable. But isn't safe, reliable, and sustainable part of our mission statement? So then maybe we should put that on at the end. Um, after after all the costs. 
Maybe yeah, we should good. just say rates are increased so we can continue to, bri to provide safe, reliable, and sustainable water to our customers, period. The increases are required in the next paragraph. Is, or we just increase, required to cover the increased costs of, and they read it. Uh, I just, to, to me, as a rate payer, I just read that as fluff. Like I said, the only thing that's missing is tasty and delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, it's like you're using three adjectives there to try to sell somebody on your cost instead of saying, here's the reasons why our cost went up, which is what you're doing if you get rid of that. If you want to put it at the end, I don't care, but if you get rid of that and say, rate increases are necessary and are required to cover the cost increases, cost of wholesale water, electricity, that's why. Okay. That's why they yeah. went up. I, I would agree with Director Martin on that. And there's nothing, yes. none yes. of those words are legally required. No. Or, no. Okay. But we need to keep saying, I just want to be sure we're not going to take Sounds something out. Okay, cool. I had one little uh, ask. Can we put maybe in kind of red lettering or something above where, where it says average single family residential customer bill? Can we just put down um, example only or something like that? Because just to be overly cautious, I think there's going to be some people who look at this and go, my current bill is not 109, they're not going to get it, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to say, oh, I only pay $78 a, a month, and so now, am, I, am I going to lose, am I going to go up $30 a month automatically before they even raise anything? So maybe just put like example only uh, right above the chart. Um, but it is the average. No, I, I know it's the average, but oh, they may, may not necessarily. Red, the, the word average red, it's a, it's a red. Yeah, I, and I'm agreeing because when you see that number, someone sees $109 and they live in a mobile home park, they can have a heart attack right there. Yeah, I mean, I I, I live in a single family home and I've, ne I've never had a $109 water bill, so. Really? Um, no. Yeah. Should we make it 10% then? There you go. Check the heart Um. Oh, yeah, I'll have to do some wordsmithing here. Um, or, or, or just put, or just just put, put example, ex ex example, example only right in, in, in between, yeah. in between the, the, the sentence. You can have space because you're going to cut that out. So you can, you can, uh, yeah, in between the uh, sentence above and yeah. the and average the, single yeah, family. Just example only. Example in red letters. Yeah. You can use multicolors these days. Yeah. yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Example, yeah. example only. That's it. So, so we, do we want red? Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like red. Reserve. Yeah. Okay. There's a finance person. You know, Red letter, yeah. Yeah. Just, just so it just so it stands out a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, people people will you'll get calls on that saying, wait a second, you said that my bill's a hundred. They're going to think that this is specific for them. Oh, you're yeah. going to be like, my bill's not a hundred nine dollars. Yeah. Or or the yeah or the people who are above a hundred nine dollars are going to call. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get calls and letters anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, great job. In, in other than that's not in our color palette, I would still go along with it from the other side. We approved this color palette, and the red was not in there. But we should approve it just for this example. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so would it be okay to put, or the cursor is moving here, would it be okay to put uh, example, word example? I, if we're going to put it in, I think it needs to top. be separated. And put it on top of the top. chart. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Whoops. Go back to your hand. Go back. To center. Now oh, just up oh, like two millimeters. Right there. Right, there. Right, there. Between the lines. Yeah. 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 Okay. Got it. Yeah. I just want before we go back and forth. And yeah. No, of course. Any other uh, comments or? Uh, I hope that's not your hand, John. It looks really pretty bad. Ah. Uh, stumpy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Dr. Hart. I don't think so. Dr. Hart is. I'm. Uh, I'm fine. Big with now. Can we hold the piece? Oh, I did have a question, though, a general question. Who else has to send out a 218 type of notice in the utility business? The water and sewer districts? No, no. What about power, gas, uh, cable? A private company. Because the they're regulated. not property related. Water and it's, it's the, the language is property related. They're so, regulated by the PUC. Yeah, they're regulated by the and, and they're not public agencies. And, this and, so is, they, this and they don't consider power property related. You get the new bill, it's raised. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's not something yeah. that is it's it's your government apply. work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Director Evans, you got to you have With a the government, trust me, I'm here to help. Any, any oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Um, do you need a motion or just so yeah. you're good? Yeah, uh, let's get a motion. Move to approve. 
discussion. Second. Discuss. We have a motion. By As Director. discussed. We As discussed. Yeah, with changes, yeah. We have a motion by Director Hernandez and Director Ellenthorp squeaked out a, cl a close second. <laughs> For a second. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Cool. Um, can, I, can we get a motion to, uh, to go into closed session? Second. Dr. Martin made the motion. Dr. Hernandez seconded. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously.